Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a kaleidoscope. Kaleidoscope is an optical instrument with uh, two or more mirrors which are tilted at an angle and creates a symmetrical pattern inside it. So we are going to make kaleidoscopic patterns also. So let's start. So we are going to make a line and the line just like we use in the drawing one so we are going to use the mouse s and the mouse y in that and we are going to use the previous uh, position of the mouse x and previous mouse y positions to make the line work okay now let's give the stroke of it also so let's say the stroke is 255 and in this red color 255 0 and 0 and stroke weight let's also give it stroke weight of let's say 15 we have given it and now when I run this project you can see with the mouse a dot disappearing which is moving around because the background is clearing the line which is being made continuously so I'm going to take the background from here from the draw and put it in the setup now when I move it around you can see I can draw the line okay so now let's give change the color so in this project I'm going to show you how to use the color mode function so in the color mode function we are going to use give the HSB which is hue saturation and brightness and HSB get is hue from 360 and saturation I am keeping it as uh, 150 and brightness 100 and I'm also going to give the alpha S1, keep the alpha S1. So now what I need to do is I need to change the stroke values as well according to the hue, saturation and uh, brightness and alpha. So the first one I will say that let's keep it with the mouse X or mouse Y, whatever you like. And then I want to change this to... Uh, just like that 150 and then the next one 100 and the alpha I will keep 0 0.5 right now okay so now when I run this you can see now I've got a colorful line and you can see if you move faster you can see there is some uh, alpha uh, which is the lighter portion also coming in this line okay this is done so now after doing this what we need to do you can see that the line is appearing from the top left hand corner so let's make it appear from the middle so let's translate it so I'm going to translate this whole thing and I'm going to say give width of and height so it will appear from the middle rather than so now my circle is in the middle and when I move it it's starting from the middle and going from the sides now okay right so now it's appearing on one side not on all the sides so let's try making it appear in the opposite way as well so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the push and the pop. And in that push and the pop, I'm going to put this line code inside it. Now when I do that and I run it, so I don't see any difference in it at first. So let's use the scale function in it. And this is scale function uh, mostly when we say the scale function that means it increases the size of the thing or decreases the size of the shape but in this case it's 
also going to change the y uh, direction makes it opposite also so let's do that and see now you can see I can make two lines and they are opposite to each other you can see now it's appearing on one side of the uh, canvas but not on the other sides of the canvas so what we are going to do we need some angle that will rotate it and make it go on both the sides okay so if I just for now uh, just for a while if we start from zero so you can see now when I make the lines the lines are appearing on both sides like a mirror image and they are forming but they are not appearing in the uh, right order that means from the middle it's not appearing like a kaleidoscopic pattern so let's change it back to with half and now I'm going to make a variable of angle and then uh, angle variable I usually keep at zero but today I'm going to use angle starting from 12 you can change the angle as well uh, to see different patterns what you can make with that so right for now I'm going to use 12 and then I'm going to use the for loop and this for loop will have the i uh, is equals to zero to start with and i is less than the angle and i plus plus okay right now i will put everything inside uh, all the code which i have written before i am going to put it inside this for loop and let's hit the edit and now tidy code our code is tidied and now we have the an angle and the for loop which is uh, making these things okay now the next thing I need to do is I need to give it a rotate as well which will rotate the things so give the rotate and give the angle inside the rotate now after doing that we save the project and now when we do that and now you can see it's coming from all the sides not just from one side but from all the sides and it is creating a pat uh, different patterns as you move your mouse across it right so right now the colors and the things they are there but to control it more <laughs> So what we can do, we can use the slider to control the colors as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a slider variable and then I'm going to give the slider variable to keep create slider function in it and it will take the values from here and we and we can see that if we keep the initial value 100 and the final value as for example 255 and we keep it like uh, the starting value to be 50 and then we make another variable here inside the function draw and we say that we want our saturation to be changed in fact let's change the saturation okay saturation and brightness we will use it in both so let's do that and the slider value will be there to change both of them so we will use this and instead of 150 I'm going to use this saturation one 
Saturation pack. Saturation one in this one. And now, when I do this, I can make patterns. And then I move it, and the colors should change. So, the more different colors, the more patterns you can have with this one. And as I'm increasing different colors, different patterns will start appearing and predominating it. So now it's orange color as well, red as well. More and more intricate patterns you can make using this. You can use the same slider to make patterns like uh, with the angle as well, changing angles as well. So you can do that as well with this. So let's do that. So now we can make another slider with the same thing and let's change the angle. So this is one slider so for the angle we can make another slider. Let's say slider 2 we can say that and then we can make the same kind of a slider here. One more slider and let's say uh, slider 2 and in this slider you know, we can keep the values like it is starting from let's say 6 and it goes to 32 and it's the starting point is 6 and uh, now this slider 2 can be used to change the angle and if we are using this slider 2 we don't need the to give the value in the angle and uh, we just have to use the same angle here and now the, this angle will take the value of the slider to dot value in it and now this angle will be able to have the values from that so now we have two sliders the second one is for changing the angle so I have changed the, or keep the angle like this and change the color value like this and now you can see at 6 you can have a pattern like this and if I change the slider a little bit more now I have different pattern appearing because of the change of the angle and if I increase more there is more different patterns which is appearing in that and uh, if I change a bit more, so more different patterns you can see. Okay, now if I change it back to kind of 12, so I have a pattern which is very different. And uh, change back the color scheme also, so you, now you can see patterns are changing, colors are changing and you have more different, more and more different colors and patterns appearing because of that so this is another way you can use the sliders and you can make the patterns appear and the patterns work like that and you can change the angles and do the same things so now like this one I'm making this kind of pattern with this and the angle is different so you can make different patterns by using the same things 
so if I decrease and I increase this a bit more then I can make a very different pattern with this and this is all the kaleidoscopic colors and the patterns you can see in a kaleidoscope as well and they are all beautiful and you can change and you can have more and more colors and patterns appearing in them so the more you go towards the middle the more uh, flowery patterns if the angle is increasing flowery patterns you can see appearing in this so hope you like this project and try to make it yourself as well and uh, tell me what you think and i think that's for it bye for now